Hi guys, and I hope you're enjoying this sunny weather here in the UK anyway. It's been like living on the surface of the sun for the last week. So instead of doing a fishing video, I'm going to take you through the camera equipment that I use for making my YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hi guys, I've come indoors to do this part of the video because it's, as I said, it's about 30 degrees outside and uh, it wasn't pleasant. So I've come into the kitchen. It's a bit echoey, I've got to say, so I apologise for the sound now. Before I go on and go through the items individually, I just want to say I'm going to put links to these items in the description below. They're Amazon affiliate links, which doesn't mean I'm going to become a millionaire overnight. It just means that if anyone wants to buy any of the equipment that I have here, uh, I'll get 0.000001 1 pence for each sale made. So uh, I just want to make that clear before I go on. So the camera that you're I'm currently shooting on, and uh, obviously you can't see on the table, is my main camera. And it's a Lumix G80. And I use that for all the sort of head shots, some of the landscape shots that I do, the panning shots, and I also use that for my microphone, which I've got attached to my t-shirt at the moment. Now, this is uh, exactly the same. Uh, is what I'm wearing and recording the sound of this video with and it's a sardonic blink 500 now it comes with a receiver which is clipped on to the top of the Lumix G80 and that's why the sound is transmitted across to the camera so I could be 30 meters away and you would still hear me quite clearly through this microphone now the reason I bought this is uh, I don't know how many of you have followed the channel for a while but I did do a video on the British Fly Fair and just used this microphone and I was sharing it with the people I was interviewing and the sound quality was very poor and uh, I wanted to make that a lot better for last year which didn't happen and uh, this year which didn't happen so hopefully the British Fly Fair will be back up and running next year and I will get to use my secondary mic. To be fair making fishing videos it has come in handy when I've been with guides or other anglers that have wanted to speak into the camera. So that's my main camera. Uh, you don't have to use this. Um, why I use it is I can use an external mic jack and get excellent quality sound. Now this is also the camera that I use for doing the fly time videos, but I simply couple that with a 45 millimeter macro lens and that's what I'm shooting the fly time videos with. Now, Making videos for YouTube, it's not a lucrative industry unless you've got 4.5 million subscribers and you're doing a million views every two or three months. Uh, you're not getting rich off of this. So if you're going to go down the YouTube road, please do it for the right reasons and not because you think that you're going to have a retirement plan out of it because that's simply not the case. So that's the main camera. I like it a lot. I've not taken a lot of still images with it. I bought it primarily for video. Now, the other camera I use is a Panasonic Lumix, and this is the DMC GX7. And I use this for primarily taking photographs of the flies to create the thumbnails that you see at the start of the videos. And if I'm taking photographs of insect life, this is a great camera for that. The, the reason, and I've had this for a lot of years, the reason that I didn't just use this to do the YouTube stuff is because it doesn't have a mic port, which is really important. Sound quality, if you're going to go down the YouTube road, 
sound quality is one of the biggest issues that you're going to have. Uh, image quality is important, but the most important thing is sound quality. Now, you know, people might not mind my ugly face, and uh, people have put up with a lot as regards imagery, but if you've got a bad sound on your video, people are likely to click away very quickly. So, that's my two sort of main cameras, and I also have a few other bits and bobs that I use to create the fishing videos. So, what I've got here, and it's in a case that I can mount to various different, a tripod, uh, the, the old octopussy, gorilla grip, sorry, couldn't think of the word there, and uh, I've also got a mod for this that fits into this slot and I can attach this external microphone again. It's all about the sound. The This, this, this is the Hero 7, it's not, not the most modern one, but it's what I could afford at the time and I've just re recently had to replace it. So uh, that, that took a big chunk out of my camera budget. Uh, it broke, I don't know what happened. I did get a lot of use out of it, so I'm not going to cry myself to sleep on my giant pillar. But I had to get a new one pretty sharpish because this is used a lot in the fishing videos you see. Uh, it's great for underwater footage of fish release and I've got the mod. If I want to speak to the camera while I'm walking, I'm generally using the Hero 7 and this Rode mic with the mod to make it work. So that's very important for making uh, the fishing videos. Now, another thing that people um, are often surprised when I tell them is this is an iPhone, it's, uh, I think this is the iPhone 11, it's not even uh, very modern, but it shoots video in 4K. Again, I have got a little adapter if I want to um, use it with sound, but I very rarely use that anymore. This is more for if I've, I've trekked a long way and I've only got a couple of bits and bobs of camera kit, this does amply well. And this little gadget you see on the table, is about, I don't know, six, seven quid off the of Amazon, I'm not quite sure. But if you clip that on, you've immediately got stabilization with your phone and you can shoot some really nice panning shots. If you want to tilt from up onto the subject, this stabilizes the whole thing. Well worth getting. So, that's the phone. Now, this is a, a Panasonic zoom lens. I use it uh, when I'm in a boat, if I want to zoom in quickly to someone catching a fish or if, if I'm at a distance and I want to shoot a fish release shot, you need a zoom lens. I used to shoot a lot of landscape photography in the past and I used Nikon for that and I traded all my Nikon landscape photography in so that I could purchase these video specific cameras. And uh, the kit lenses are generally rubbish, so when I would buy a new camera, the kit lens would go in a box somewhere, I'd try and sell it, and I'd buy prime lenses because uh, they were much better. But this kit lens, which came with the G80, was, was actually pretty good. Um, I've only added to that with the macro lens, which is on my other body, and the lens that I'm shooting with now, which is a 50mm prime lens. So, that's the, uh, the mainstay of the camera kit now. I've bought various bits and bobs to try and enhance the quality of the videos and one of the things I purchased was a drone. Now this is the Mavic Mini 2. It's, uh, it's under 250 grams which means you don't have to jump through all the hoops of doing your pilot's license or getting insurance. I've actually done that because I intend to get a bigger drone in the future. So. I've, I've done all the qualifications. It's easy enough to do and it's very cheap to do. You do an online course and then you set a little test at the end and suddenly you're, you're legally able to fly drones. And uh, as well as this, I've gotten some public liability insurance just in case I stupidly crash it into someone. One of the other things I've got for my camera is this. It's, a, it's a, an electronic gimbal and basically I can mount my phone in that, like so, if I put it in the right way round, hopefully it'll do a little dance and that's the gimbal stabilising and that steadies up the camera on my phone even more. Again, it's great for push through shots, panning and basically any sort of B-roll I want to do when I'm shooting the videos.
so ideal. So as I said I'll be putting some links into the description below if you're interested in getting into YouTube I can offer the following advice. It's not quick so I've done nearly 350 videos now uh, I think I'm up to around 8,000 subscribers maybe a little more but it's taken about two and a half years uh, and the only reason I've done it is perseverance you know I, I try to make each video slightly better than the last video that doesn't always work out for me uh, but I'm doing my best and, and I want to do better in the future so I'm constantly practicing talking to the camera which is not a natural thing unless you're an actor you know you, you don't it's not natural to sit in a room on your own and speak to the camera so you've got to really work on that and get over the cringe factor of hearing your own voice I recently if you watched last week's video when I was controlling a couple of the Welsh lads on the tees um, none of them would speak on camera you know a bit camera shy I get that and uh, when I first started to do it, it I, f I found it quite awkward and I, uh, I come from a teaching background so that was quite unusual speaking to a camera is more nervous than standing up in front of an audience of 50 people and delivering a lesson so YouTube it's, it's a great vehicle for learning and the reason I wanted to do it is I think I've got something to offer. Uh, 30 years of fly fishing experience, uh, competing at some of the highest levels in this country and I've really enjoyed it. I've got a lot out of it and I want to give something back. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please think about clicking that little button in the corner. I need all the subscribers I can get. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.